Okay, so basically um, something that we're dealing with quite often is where um, you've got, for example, wooden windows and owners want to install at their own cost, want to replace it with um, aluminium. You know, body corporate sets the standard, blah, blah, blah. Everything is in place. They can do it. And then these owners do not want to contribute towards the maintenance of the remaining wooden windows because they, at their expense, installed maintenance-free windows. How would you deal with that? Oh, it's a tricky one. So we know that unless there is a rule, and we're of the opinion that it needs to be a management rule, not a conduct rule, that says that the owners are responsible for what would normally be the body corporate's responsibility, in other words, from the median line, windows, doors, roofs, all those fun things, um, owners all have to contribute. And if a body corporate allows or the owner does without the permission of the trustees any type of replacement of windows, doors, that type of thing, and they pay for it themselves, technically the body corporate needs to reimburse them 50% but again they haven't acted lawfully in doing so so the argument is then that the body corporate should not reimburse them but they have to contribute to the remainder of the body corporate going through that replacement project what they could do is retrospectively put a rule in place and apply it uh, we know that rules don't apply retrospectively but because it needs such a high level of consent I mean management rules is 100% of a 80% quorum or 100% of all owners owners, they can agree that those parties that have installed previously will not be reimbursed and anybody installing in the future will not be reimbursed. Um, but it's a tricky one. And once you go down that slippery slope, everyone's going to be wanting to be treated differently. In a consultation a couple of days ago, I actually used my own sectional title scheme as an example. When I moved in, we had a horrible storm and my window got blown out. I got a contractor in, got a quote, sent it to the body corporate and said, please, you know, let me know if this quote's okay. You need to pay 50%. And they said, Zalinda, we've got a policy in place that everybody's responsible for their own windows and their doors. So I said, that's great. Please show me the rule. No, it's not in the rules. It's simply something we've been applying since the body corporate was around in 1995. Okay, that's great. When I started applying pressure on them, they said, Zalinda, please come and be a trustee. And uh, when I was became a trustee, obviously, you know, keep your friends close, your enemies closer. Um, they said to me that if I had to push this, there would be many owners that would then institute a claim against the body corporate. Prescription wouldn't apply and the body corporate would basically be bankrupt with all of these claims against them for the 50%. This week or the week before, we had an owner that installed uh, some new windows on her own account, no permission from the trustees, very expensive windows, and sent the body corporate the invoice for the 50%. So now we're sitting in a bit of a pickle in that we've allowed since 1995 everybody to pay for their own windows and install their own windows as they cho choose. And now we've got a situation where we might have a bit of a fight in our hands. And if that owner does take it further, they would be successful in that the body corporate is responsible for the 50%. So while you can stop this, get that rule in place as quick as possible. Um, and I know that it is difficult because it is a unanimous resolution that's required. And interestingly, the last time that we submitted a rule like this, um, and we do generally have about a 99% approval rate from the Community Scheme Ombud Service, there was correspondence from the CSOS that they said they will not accept it because it is a deviation from the Act. So it's going to be interesting to see how this is going to play out. Ruth, you've got your hand up. You're on mute. Yeah, but, but Zelinda, you know, I think it's always, does the window have to be replaced? Because I don't think you can get away from your duty if the window has to be replaced. But where people want to put in these fancy windows, no ways. If fixing the windows is going to cost a thousand rand, the body corporate only owes 500 rand, they can then go and put their 10,000 rand new windows in. So that's how we work it out because people, they buy, they want to renovate, they want to be the new things since sliced bread, which is fabulous. But the body corporate does not have to replace those windows. If they're not, if they are irreplaceable, different story. Exactly. So Dr. Karen Durham, our ex colleague from Paddox, would always say that it needs to be beyond its useful life. In other words, yes. past the yes. point of repair and, and, and maintenance. Yes.